I uh, had a lot of uh, volunteers prop up lately some tomatoes and I thought that uh, I might try to save a few of these and put them somewhere I don't really know where at this point but uh, I just hated to mow them down there were so many and there's obviously some different varieties and things so I thought I'd put some in some in a bucket for now uh, use some of that compost that I had and uh, went ahead and just stuck those guys down in there for the time being to kind of hold them and uh, I let them sit out for a while watered them and uh, within a week they had really perked up um, and looked like they were doing well so I went ahead and uh, separated them into some cups and I kind of got them up under my lights there just to because the weather's been so cold and nasty lately we've had temperatures down in the 30s mid 30s um, and I got a few other things I've been extras I've been growing here and there uh, the cucumbers took a big hit from the cold that we've had uh, pretty well killed them and uh, I had four plants uh, out uh, but it's no great loss because I always have some backups and uh, just for these purposes and uh, even these guys won't go to waste uh, they'll end up in the compost pile along with everything else and uh, like I said you know I have backups of things that some peppers tomatoes uh, they're starting to get a little big for the cups but if uh, uh, you know I put them in the earth boxes I got can't put them in a big pot so and there's the new cucumbers uh, this is my world record tomato attempt uh, so far I'm not off to a very good start it took over two and a half weeks for that little sprig to stick out but eventually um, a couple did emerge after about three weeks I hope that's not a bad sign of what this will do this is the uh, delicious variety uh, I've got my area ready for it. It's going to be a while. It's kind of back there by the compost. Um, an area that doesn't get full sun all day. It's, and maybe that'll give it a little relief from the sun. Uh, earth boxes, tomatoes are in there. Looking pretty decent. Uh, coming along. Um, but, uh, you know, I decided that it was going to be really hard to wrap them to protect them from storms and winds and all that we have real bad here if I need to. Cover them or wrap them. So I put them back off in the... Uh, the soil area where I could drive some poles in and uh, that way I can wrap them in plastic or, or shade cloth or screen or you know just kind of whatever I may need to do uh, I'm using some of these tomato cages I've got them actually stuck down in the box and kind of over the poles which go into the ground and I'll probably tie wrap that a little as well but they're pretty stout and it'll protect or at least support the bottom halves of the tomatoes which is kind of the main part the rest I can use the poles to to support the main stem uh, yeah the icicle radish has really been doing well we've been harvesting a lot of them over the last several weeks um, this was pretty much my last little harvest I was going to do um, and they've been you know they've grown really well uh, done a great job uh, but they've started to go to seed so I'm just going to let you know pick most of them out and then let some of these seed and maybe save the seed from them uh, roses are doing really well. I've been concentrating a lot on those guys this year and last year and they're really coming around. Um, it's a constant battle with a black spot and things like that. Uh, but um, yeah, they're coming around. I've been pretty well been able to keep it at bay pretty much. And uh, this rose here is probably 18 plus years old and it grows huge monster red roses and they're extremely fragrant. Uh, really nice plant and it's it's been going and going for years and years. Um, of course, I've been giving them compost tea along with everything else. Uh, I've brewed probably, this will be my third batch this year. And uh, this is some of that really good rich stuff there. As you can see how dark that tea is. Um, this is some of that stuff I showed in my last video that I kind of harvested that had the worms and all in it. Yeah, you know, I'm keeping that going. And uh, here's the Amazon chocolate that's out in one of my boxes. It is a monster. It's only about 14 inches tall and has nearly a half inch stem. Uh, at this point and it's already grown much bigger um, which I'll show later uh, snow peas are still going uh, I'm just letting them go I thought maybe the heat would get them carrots are doing great same thing uh, but they're nice and healthy no bugs no problems coming along really nice won't be long uh, got the peppers in the boxes now I'm just putting one tomato and one pepper in each box and then I'll have a few things like marigolds and some other stuff around in there too possibly a basil here and there um, the backup tomatoes are just at the point of root bound in these cups and uh, so I've got to do something with those and then overall things are looking pretty green and growing uh, just 
been trying to get this weather to cooperate. Um, I've got this one over here on its own. It's a, a brandy wine. It may be a little big for this container, but uh, I may change that if I have to. That cage comes off. It's I may do something a little different there. But uh, all is well. Thanks for watching.